So this is the first pass on that cardboard template for the top with the alterations I need to make when I transfer that to the 3mm ply. So that's the adjustments made and I've just uh, used the jigsaw on this 3mm plywood to, uh, to transfer it onto a piece of wallboard. I need to add 340 to the bottom, 200 there just underneath the uh, door handle and then it'll just be a case of fine tuning the curves on the bottom I hope. So next step get some wallboard and uh, bite the bullet. So that panel on the driver's side fits okay and we'll probably need some fine tuning with a sander when it when I come to actually screw it in. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to do the passenger side card for the sliding door and um, just, well just a quick tip actually if you're using a, a, a normal blade on a jigsaw they cut up the way they work is they cut up and you want it to set it so there's a minimum amount of um, forward movement and uh, that's why I'm marking it out. I'm going to mark the second card out uh, on the back and I'll cut from the back and uh, as you can see when you do that it gives a nice clean edge to the cut and uh, saves you a lot of work later on. Went to Auburn yesterday and the usual two hour round trip by the time I'm finished and I got the extra therm panel which will just mean that I can do all the cuts for the ceiling and once those stick pins arrive I can get it in place although it's uh, zero degrees at the moment so the glue definitely won't take and I might have to wait for that. Uh, as concerns the panels I did for the uh, sliding doors I've decided I'm not going to fit those on my own it's a much easier to do with a two-person job so I want to cut out the wallboard for the back door and uh, so that's the top and that's the bottom original cards I think the top one I'm going to be able to get away with just using that as a template but the bottom one I will be needing to make it a bit bigger well classic good news bad news they were direct fit so that makes my life easier in terms of making templates However, um, I've only got two of the white chalkboard left and I want to save those for the ceiling. So this is um, effectively a scrap. I mean, it's perfect piece. It's a perfect piece of wallboard, but it's what Moreland used to protect my wallboard when they delivered it was on the top. So I'll, uh, I'll use that. And uh, if Connor wants to cover it with the black felt, then obviously that's his choice when he gets here. Well, that's the panels on the back door, uh, fitted strip first time, so I'm really pleased with that. And um, I'm pretty sure, though, that that look all, will all look even better covered in the felt, uh, the grey felt that Connor's got. Um, and also, I want to seal around the edges, uh, just on a belt and braces basis. Just a quick tip, actually, because you don't want to learn the hard way with this one. What I do when I'm drilling into these pillars uh, is I use a block of wood so that the drill bit cannot go through the outside skin which would be just a disaster. There you go, still waiting for the stick pins and uh, I'll show you how the roof panels go on when, uh, when they arrive. <laughs> 